Hello, everybody. Skibbity Toilet episode 50 just came out. Well, it came out actually seven hours ago, number 300 for gaming. Well, we should probably do this. Alright, we'll just watch it first. First of all, we should probably lower the volume. Jeez, okay, that's that. Guy. Oh, yes, fire, bro. Look at it. You're running in. I already got a gigantic laser. Oh, took him down. Easy mode. Well, don't think they're gonna survive that one. <laughs> this must be a lot. This might be a loss for uh, these boys. What's that? Oh, well, he's back. Okay, that's really cool. Jeez. That, that's a, he's a Warhammer. <laughs> That's three, dude. He is so upgraded, dude. Okay, nice. What the fire was so alive? Oh, but it does not do anything to him. He's like, whatever. Meow. Jeez, dude, that's a way upgraded now. Blue fire. All right, what the fuck now? This cute's gonna give him a slap of 80. <laughs> gonna give him the slap of 87 right there, dude. Hold on, there's still more after. So he gives us a thumbs up. He takes his little hammer and he flies away. Oh, he got a little thumbs up. Oh, just giving him a little thumbs up. What is that? Is that, is that like, is that like our version of the salute? Just a thumbs up. All right, now let's analyze this. So, first frame. My first frame. You can see that we're in the base that we were teleported into last time. It's either talking about stuff. Even though they, I don't think they can physically talk. We're running, and we see some cameramen like inside the bunker. Here is the tank that we used to get the parasites off. We might be, this might be returning to take off the Titan Speakerman's parasite. Honestly, what I think we should do is probably just take the entire head off of Titan Speakerman and then take the parasite off, and then we just take him back to base and repair him. For like 27 episodes. Hold on, bro. <laughs> Flashbang. You can see right here. If you go a little bit further, you can see them running away. You can see uh, one of the crookbacks are having a broken cameraman in his arms. A friend, he puts a gigantic laser down. See uh, that that gigantic dude that we saw in episode 47 is here with two gigantic lasers. Yeah, it's definitely the same dude. A upgraded, it seems like an upgraded version of the uh, blade one with the mouth. I like how that can vacuum people up. It's like an upgraded version. I can use fire breath. He is back from episode 48. Because if we go back to 48, we can see that when the bus saw was coming in, he ducked down right in between, right, like right as he came. So he was able to dodge it. We got like a right here so, yep yep this guy's running away a like a blade like a spinning blade one right there you see the blades are spinning like a maybe like an axe uh like upgraded rocket dudes like a fly a gigantic laser beam pretty self-explanatory and then here comes the major part they're all like uh what is going on even even though what confuses me why is he looking Okay. Why is he looking? He can't see. <laughs> this guy comes back. He has wings now. He has a hammer. He has... Don't even know what that is. He has an upgraded camera on his head. That thing, and I think he has like something right there. But he comes and swoops half of them down. Just by his landing. Gigantic laser beam. Boom. Obliterates. Boom. Obliterates. Wipes from existence. Gigantic hammer. Smacks his head right off. And crushes the toilet. He's like, he's like, really? He's like, yeah, I know, I know, I messed up. And gigantic blue fire from this chest cavity. So he has instead of, because if you go back, to, I forgot what episode it was, but he used to just have a gigantic laser beam that he would just shoot off. Now he has like a blue fire, dude, or maybe something like blue plasma. All right, if you see rockets, he's like unscathed, like like the Titan TV man. He 
was just unscathed to everyone's attacks. He just did not care. Ready? You can see it. So it's the light up here. I don't know if that's the. I don't think that's the hammer. I think he might put the hammer back. Yeah, he drops the hammer, and he has like this either arm cannon or his hand can like charge up. But instead, he uncharges it because he knows he's gonna get hit. So he just grabs and ground pounds him into the thing. He's like a protector, maybe, or maybe like when he shoots up the plasma, it separates it into three different segments to so be not over over like charge one part of the body he gives us a little thumbs up as our salute he just takes his warhammer back and he flies away nothing really much about the flying away see so we all stand there in like a salute pattern because that's like our version of the salute and that is really it it's a very crazy episode because he, someone has definitely finally awakened. Oh, this is, somehow this is Warhammer for 40,000 Dawn of the War. I think it's like auto set. Okay, number three for gaming. Dude, why is this the number one? No hey, but why is this the number one? Uh, speeder and Peter shorts, I like that guy. Number, let's see how many times he pops up. Only once? Easier. Not just skibbity toilet esque things, though. Definitely skibbity toilet. Well, yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. That was a pretty interesting episode. Um, I will I will be making these videos, like, as an add-on video to the day. So, like, let's say I will make three videos a day. And let's say, the Bloom posts. And he makes a video on the day that I paste, post the three videos out. I'll just make another video that day. So, I have four videos that day. Just as an add-on at the at a random time of the day, depending on when he re, depending on when I wake up and what time he makes the video. Guys, peace out and bye bye.